Welcome to the first edition of E! News for the term. I hope everyone had a restful mid-year break and were able to stay warm. I'd like to welcome all our new students and families to Hazel Glen College. We wish all students a smooth transition and I hope your educational journey with us is filled with great success and personal achievement. Needless to say, enrolments across the college are continuing at a rapid rate. Already into Term 3, the busy schedule of our college is into full swing. On Saturday evening, I had the opportunity to attend the third and final performance of the college production of Annie. This was such a fabulous night. In terms of professionalism and quality, there could be no better way to showcase our college and particularly the performing arts program. We have many talented students across years three to nine. To all students and staff who have given their time both at the college and in their own time during the term one and term two school holidays, many thanks for the hours that you have put in. This was without doubt a team effort. In all aspects of your help and assistance, many, many thanks. In particular, special mention to production director, Sarah Crothers. Her leadership and guidance to deliver such a first class performance was outstanding. The success from this year's production was also very evident from the many positive comments from families in our school community who attended one of the three performances at the Plenty Rangers Theatre. Importantly, the students involved had great smiles and a sense of personal achievement and pride in what they had just done. I'm sure you will agree this is without doubt what it's all about. I should mention that although the production was videoed due to strict copyright restrictions, the college is not permitted to provide copies for general sale. Once again, many thanks to all involved in this memorable event. Last Wednesday, Education Minister and Deputy Premier James Molino spent two hours visiting our college. The Minister toured our new Performing Arts and STEAM Centre and was extremely impressed with the modern design and functionality of the buildings. He also was keen to view the development of the new senior school building currently under construction. I had the opportunity to speak candidly with Minister Molino about the significant growth that is occurring at Hazel Glen College and options that will accommodate our future planning, not just next year, but through to 2020, the first year of our Year 12 cohort. The new boom gates have been now installed at our four entrances to the college. Once again, I would ask parents to please be mindful of the new gates. I am meeting later this week with representatives from the City of Whittlesey Traffic Unit to further discuss the timeline and traffic management for the construction of the roundabout on the corner of Painted Hills and Cooks Road. I will keep the college community fully informed of these developments. All the best and I wish the students and parents a great start to Term 3. Thank you.